Welcome. Today we will review the different features of the Social Profiler website and show you how easy it is to request a report. You will find that our system is very easy to use. Let's say I don't have the link or username on any of the particular platforms, but I do know the first and last name. In this case, it's Nikki Lane. She lives in the state of California. Let's request a report. You will find the report is typically five to 10 seconds. As I look through all the different Nikki Lanes, and you will see when we identify a particular person or account, what we do is we provide the profile picture, the name of the account, the exact username on that platform, and then we provide a hyperlink to the page so you can confirm that this is the Nikki Lane we're looking for. In this case, we know it is because the profile pictures match. So I click on Nikki Lane, I've highlighted, which means that I've chosen that person, and I hit continue. I go to Facebook. I start to look around again, and sure enough, I find the same photograph on this Nikki Lane. I click, I continue, I go to X. I start to look, and here I found the same Nikki Lane. It matches the profile pictures. I continue again, and now I found the Nikki Lane I was looking for. So here are the four profiles associated with Nikki Lane. I confirm, we run a report. But what happens if somebody has a very common name like John Smith? In this case, I wanna order a report on John Smith who happens to live in Alabama. What you see on Instagram, which is the same across all platforms, is there are a lot of John Smiths in Alabama. And that's true in every state. But in this case, for Instagram, I just so happen to know the exact username of the person that I'm trying to research. I hit enter. When the black border shows up, that shows the account I've selected. I go to continue. And as you can see, we come up with an error report that says there's not enough data to produce a report or the account is private. But either way, we know we can't pull data from this report and that's fine. We skip and then we go to Facebook and let's say I'm trying to look for the same John Smith. And we find that there are no search results on Facebook, possibly private account, so we skip. Now we go to X. Now it just so happens as I look through all of the different types of accounts, we find the John Smith that we're looking for. I can highlight it, I can check, it's the same John Smith, and I continue. And then finally, we have TikTok. Another way to identify a specific user is I can go onto the platform itself. I highlight the name of the person I'm trying to analyze. In this case, it's John Smith. I can then copy the link, insert it in, and there's the John Smith I'm looking for. Now, again, we've identified this as a private account, so we cannot display a report on it because we only analyze public accounts. So we skip. We've identified that we have one platform that John Smith is available, and we will go ahead and order the report. Now that you know how to request a social profiler report, we will review the structure of the profiles themselves. In this case, we will look at one of our celebrities, Post Malone. We know he has an Instagram, X, TikTok account. When we analyze individual platforms, they are all the same structure. We provide the name of the account, the platform being analyzed, and the exact username. In this case, Post Malone has 629 interests based on his X account activity. His highest share of interests include music, entertainment in general, and gaming. And then we categorize the interests based from high to low. In this case, his highest areas of interest are music, entertainment, sports, and art. Instagram, he has 317 interests. He is also interested in artists and athletes. He is most interested in music, entertainment, art, and sports based on Instagram. And TikTok, he has 35 interests. Now that we've reviewed the categories of interest by platform, we can move to the friends and mutual followers analysis. These are people that Post Malone follows and in return, they follow him. There are almost 2,000 of these individuals or organizations. They are ranked based on the number of common interests. Additionally, we identify potentially controversial interests, things like guns, 
alcohol, narcotics, tobacco, or others. And we provide that detail for you loaded up front. Things like guns, esoteric, alcohol, all other, culture, activism, and in this case, conspiracy theories. The strength of our product allows you to search interests that are considered to be very broad, like lifestyle. And in this case, Post Malone has an interest in lifestyle, locations, personal development, culture support, and all other. Or we can get very specific, like magic. He does have an interest in magic based on the category of interest in entertainment and board games. How do we know that Post Malone has an interest in music in general? Because he follows 173 accounts representing 12% of his total interests. In rock music, he follows 21 accounts. In metal music, he follows 9 accounts. And we include hyperlinks to each account so the end user can understand how a specific account applies to an interest. And this is true for all of the interests identified in Post Malone's profile. Now that we've done the three individual analyses for X, Instagram, and TikTok for Post Malone, we can now go to the summary, which includes information across all platforms. And for Post Malone, we provide the summary interests, profession, financial status, unusual aspects, location, political views, family, and overall social profile. Thank you for your interest.